is Mark Grenier. We're going to be looking at how we can actually create a pie chart right in our Microsoft Word and how to edit it. Right, so as you can see, this itself is a Microsoft and we're going to click on the blank. We're going to click on the blank and there we are so far. Right, so we're going to create the pie chart and also edit it. Right, you want to come right up here. Where the tab is, so this is the insert tab. I'm going to click on the insert tab. Now, when you click on the insert tab, right, what you want to look is for look for a chart. This is a service chart, right? So, you want to click on the red chart to notice the column, line, and all of that. And this is pie chart you want to focus on. So, you want to click on pie chart. When you click on pie chart, these are the different types of chart. So, when you click on the chart right here, right here, they're going to click on OK. Now, when you click on OK, that you're going to open an Excel sheet file with some stuff right here, right? And if you notice right here, you know, we can actually change the way we actually do it, right? So right here, you notice here, first quarter, second quarter, right? I can actually click inside here and type. So I can say sales right here. Cheers for each. Uh, let me correct that. Each month. Right here, you notice how I say for each month right here. All right, so I can actually move it right here. Next one again, I can say 78. Right, well, on the shift key, I'm going to put the percentage sign right there. All right, I'm going to click on the next one now. Then we're going to put in my own stuff right here. Go down right here. All right. So put in the percentage again. All right, so this is the example that you can actually put in your own thing, edit it. Put in your own stuff in the base upon all your, your progress in the market right so notice actually finish all of that if you notice it show up right here and all of that right and if you notice right here i can actually move all of this here right i can actually move this and say if i can put something right here all right so i'm gonna put january right there all right i can put it a week 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 one so all these are the example all right so for week two right there put it right there let me move up this is one right there so we're gonna click and this one now is a week week three here let me move up the one right here just the same all right, so we're going to click on this one now. Week four. All right, let me correct this one. I'm going to put week two right here. When I finish, definitely, I can come right out here. I can actually close it just like that. All right, if you notice right up here, you have some layout option right there, chart element, and all that. I want to explore them. All right, you can actually come right here and explode. You want to put it in the middle. But what I want to do right up here, notice you so right up here, so edit data. If you click on edit data right here, so notice this is what happened right here. So if you click on that, right, you notice you go right back to the particular section. All right, and if you notice right here is a slate data. If you click that's a slate data, you notice. And what happened right here in week one, all right, to so actually basically showing you some some section i will close about this again all right if you notice this you have some layout all right I'll close about this you will notice right here when i click onto this plus you notice the title and the label right here now if you notice when i click on it you notice just look up right up here you see it actually come right there all right so click on that you notice you see it come like that but if you come right down here and if you notice right here you can see the top or the bottom Right, you notice, right, so penetrate it carefully, right, you notice it's a left, notice it's a top, and right here, notice it's a right, and right, 
right? So you have, and then you have right here, so some more option, right? So if you notice, see the on the top, right? I can put it to the right, all right? Put it to the right, just the same, right? So definitely, if you go back up to live right here, you can actually center that right here. You can actually end inside, you notice, outside end, you notice it's the outside end, right here, if you notice. You should write as a data call out. You notice, right? Just notice that right around here when, whenever time I put it on data call out, just like that. And if you notice, you have some more option right here, right? Good. So if you come right here, with see this brush, you know, chart style, right? If you notice, you see this, you can actually change it right here. If you notice, you have a local section, you can actually put it to, for instance, you're creating. This one maybe an SPR, you're doing a chart for a presentation. Right, you can actually come and format it up this way. Notice, yes, scroll down. You notice there are different types, right? Just like that. Good. You look up at this one now. You notice filter right here, right? You notice week one. You notice when I put the cursor upon week one. Notice what it says, it says select all. If I come right here, you want to see this piece alone? Or do you want to see that piece alone? Yes, you can actually do that. Just to see that these are some of the, the, the things that you can actually do. And when you finish, you can actually press apply. When you just the same. Right, and then there you go. Definitely. So if you notice, this is how my pie chart actually do. Right, and if you find that you actually want to change these, all right, so only thing that I can do is now to change this, just double click on it like that. All right, let me close this. When I double click on it, you can actually come back up here and go to the first of routine and all of that. So thanks for watching. See you in this part, the next video.